Good day. This week we've been looking at how to withstand the storms of life and our view of God and our view of Jesus, our view of ourselves, our view of our storms are so important. And when we have the right view, we'll be able to get through these storms knowing that God is on our side. And today I just want to touch on our view of our enemy, the devil. And I believe that the church has been fighting a non-existent battle because actually the devil is not our problem. He wants to use fear. Fear is a false expectation appearing real. And he uses fear to try and limit us and say that, you know, these circumstances come from him. And I just want to let you know that we have victory over the devil today, that he is under our feet. He was an angel created to minister to the heirs of salvation and all of his authority to even serve mankind he has been stripped of. So he's an out of work servant. Listen to these scriptures. It says, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. You already have the victory. In 1 John 5, 4 and 5, for whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcomes the world, but he that believes that Jesus is the Son of God. In 2 Corinthians 2, 14, it says, Now thanks be unto God, who always causes us to triumph in Christ. In Hebrews 2 verse 14, it says that Jesus through his death has rendered the devil powerless. And so the word, it actually means that he has destroyed him, which means he's completely and utterly destroyed. You know, the devil looks powerful unless we view him through what Jesus has already accomplished. And it's so important that we don't emphasize what we think the devil has when he's been stripped and disarmed and defeated completely. He was made a public spectacle of. So let's not blame God for our circumstances or the devil or other things. Let's rather take responsibility for what we believe because our faulty beliefs might be the problem. I'm not saying that all the time because sometimes other people do stuff that affects us and we go through storms and frustrations. But let's not place an emphasis on the devil giving him power which he does not have. Let's recognize that Jesus Christ completely defeated him and we are in Christ. As Christ is, so are you. You carry the very name of God as a child of God, the name that is above every other name, that at that name every knee will bow and tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And that is our Lord, our, our name, as sons and daughters of God. So let's have the right view of the devil, that he's a worm, and that his authority has been taken away and that we can stand up to him and not allow fear to enter into our hearts. Always remember, you are highly favored and deeply loved of God.